So the following is a vitrectomy for vitromacular traction. And I can tell you that these cases can be really tricky. The vitreous can be very adherent. It can be difficult to induce a vitreous separation. If a patient has a posterior capsule pacification, we always like to open that up at the beginning in case that saves them from having a YAG capsulotomy later and then getting a floater thereafter. So we, uh, I, I really do like to use intravitreal triamcinolone. I'll usually dilute it one to four or one to eight. Uh, and that just allows me to see the uh, the vitreous and know that I've occluded the the cutter properly, that I'm elevating it. So you can hear this, see this nice fine dusting. Now, I can tell you that if you peel over the nerve and you can't get it, do not do this maneuver. Do not try to peel over the macula. You're not going to be successful trying to peel out in the mid periphery. So don't even try these things because they're not going to be effective. And I'm just trying to show you really what not to do. Um, you really want to start over the optic nerve head. You want to try to peel at, at both either at the superior or inferior edges. Make sure you have your vitreous cutter occluded and keep the cutter tip down close to the retina as you're peeling out. You really are trying to shear that vitreous off of the optic nerve head against itself. Here you can see I'm trying to peel up and out along the eye wall. Didn't get it there, but I go to the superior uh, nerve edge and I get good occlusion with a nice five to 10 seconds of vacuum. And then I peel up and out. And now I've created a little bit of a defect uh, in the vitreous there at the optic nerve. Now I can go back and I can grab inside that defect with my cutter and aspirate and peel the hyloid anteriorly. But I couldn't have done that if I didn't create some sort of deficit in that vitreo-retinal or vitreo-optic nerve ad adherence. And the best place to do it, the safest place to do it, is at the optic nerve head. As I mentioned, these cases can be fairly tricky. And so um, it can be difficult to get the vitreous all the way out past the equator. Sometimes in a situation like this, you're just going to shave it down and be happy and be done. Uh, in this case, we were able to peel it just a little bit further. Uh, once again, going up and out along the eye wall, not just pulling opposite where the vitreous is adherent. And we still had a little bit of vitreous uh, stuck down on the nasal aspect of the nerve. So I'll recognize that. It's been a good time to put in some extra intravitreal kenalog or triamcinolone to identify that vitreous uh, and make sure we peeled it all out. The final step, as always, when you induce a PVD or do a vitrectomy in general, it's always a great idea to do a depressed examination afterwards. Uh, you'd be surprised how many times you find retinal breaks or tears. And thanks to the 25 gauge small, uh, 25 small gauge technology, the wound sealed up beautifully. Thanks for watching.